senior bucks here, and number R186 is going to be a second place. Uh, the same way, a nice depth of body. Could use a little more fullness right here at the top of the hindquarters. He narrows down a bit there. Uh, has a nice head and ears, pretty well balanced animal. He has nice color. Unfortunately, today he's got some open spots in his coat. It's just starting to give out, it's starting to slip a little bit. There's not much finish there right now. And then we have a number IH182 is going to be first. This is an excellent rabbit. He's deep, he's very smooth, nice balanced animal. Uh, well filled down through the hindquarters. He's very firm in flesh. A nice head and ears. Just real lots of balance on this animal. Really a nice coat. He's got the color. That's, that's an outstanding animal. It's going to be three zero Y one E. Actually, not a bad animal for sixth place. Uh, he has pretty good depth of body, just not the fullness in the loin, especially the lower loin that most of the rest of the class has. He has pretty good balance, a nice head and ears. He has very good density to his coat. His coat is a little coarse in texture. It doesn't have this the evenness of color and finish that some of the others have. Fifth place is going to be a GA20, uh, an animal with good depth of body. Another one that's not quite as full in the loin as some of the ones ahead of him. And he's a little soft in the shoulders today. Another problem with this one is he's got a big open spot here in his coat. Still has pretty good density on the coat and carrying good color. Fourth place is, oops, I think it's 80Y1A. Uh, 30Y1A. Okay. It does look like an 8. <laughs> um, this is a nice animal. These top four are all really nice rabbits. He has great depth of body. Just a real nice top line. He's smooth down through the hindquarters. He's firm in flesh. He does not have the finish of flesh or coat that the, the rest of the class ahead of him has. Yeah, I thought he looked at that when one. When you say that. finish of flesh, what does that mean? Well, the best thing will be when I get to the first place rabbit, I'll get him back out and show you the difference. Okay. It'll be a lot, it'll mean a lot more to you. Okay. Uh, third place is a 2 y, no, 2 7 Y 1 L. A uh, nice third place animal. He's deep, he's very smooth over the top. He's not as full at the base of the hindquarters as our two top rabbits. The beautiful coat, so excellent color, really nice finish. Well, actually, I can show you with this one because he's got a nice coat. Um, just run your hand on and then do this one. And you can probably feel the difference. See how nice and smooth and soft that is? And then this one is uh, just not the finish. I mean, it's that's similar, a, but yeah, yeah, that's definitely. Okay, second place is GA-17. It's an excellent second place animal. He's deep, he's really balanced, he's got beautiful color. And earlier I said something about one not having the evenness of color. See how this color is the same over the whole animal? I, I think maybe it was this one. See how the color changes? There's about four different shades there. Okay, well, what, this is what we want. We want an animal that has this whole, same color over this whole part of the body here. That's a really nice second place rabbit. He's, the only reason he's losing is we got a really super rabbit here in first place. This is one of the nice pals I've seen in quite a while. This is number GA10. Excellent type. He's deep. He's just got a beautiful top line. Really smooth. Nicely filled in the loin. And guy, just a beautiful hindquarter. Real full right down to the table. 
got an excellent coat, nice finish, very firm in flesh, great balance. Senior Dose. One nine A D one is going to be second place. A nice big breeding doe. Uh, today she's a bit heavy up here in the shoulders. Just doesn't balance out as well. Big problem also is her color. She's got a lot of smut on her coat, and her coat is open here back over the hind quarters. See all that dark color on the tips? That shouldn't be there. Uh, she just doesn't have much fish. She's not much of a show rabbit anymore. She just needs to go into a breeding pen. And that first place is going to be IM1DI. Yes. Nice rabbit. Beautiful color. Uh, she's got great depth of body. She's full and smooth over the top. A nice head. Good balance on her. It's a nice rabbit. GA21. Intermediate does. Is going to be third place. Um, okay. She has nice depth of body. She's well filled in the loin and hind quarters. Actually, a nice type rabbit. She's really out of condition coat wise, though. Her coat is slipping badly, and that really spoils the color, uh, the general appearance of the animal. She's also a, bit, a little bit soft up here in the shoulders today. Okay, then second place is going to be an 01Y03. Okay, it's backwards. Yes, yeah. the tattoo is backwards. A couple of letters are okay, backwards. Are back. um, Nice animal. She's deep. She's just not, not quite as smooth or as full as our first place animal. A little soft on the shoulders. Just, you know, little things. Uh, it's a, a pretty decent rabbit, but just not quite as nice as that first place animal. We have a 30Y1B is going to be first. This is really a nice doe here. She's just real showy. She's deep. She's very smooth. She's got excellent fullness in her loin and down the hindquarters. She's got just a super coat. It's really dense. It's got excellent texture and finish to it. It's got a nice color. That is really an outstanding rabbit. GA23. Junior does. What place? Third place. Third place. Actually a nice typed animal. I, I think she's a promising rabbit. She has great fullness in her loin and hind quarters, but today her coat is just really out of condition. It's real open on top. It's caught in the texture, it's slipping badly. It really spoils the appearance. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then second place. is a GA24. Um, nice depth of body, but not quite as full in the loin, even actually of that third place rabbit. Uh, we're also going to have to fault her just a bit. She tends to carry one of the ears off at an angle side, and she's got some open spots in her coat today. First place today is going to be GA2E. Could it be a 25? Yeah, okay. 25. Um, today, this one had the best type. She's the deepest, 
she was in the best condition. I really think that third place animal, if I were going to take one, I'd take her because I think she's going to be a better rabbit someday. But I have to judge them the way they are today. So this one is going to be first today. Uh, we're going to go with the buck. Number GA10 is going to be best to breed. And then the Doe 30Y1B is going to be best opposite set. Okay. Senior buck. He is R186. It's a nicely tight buck. Good bone, first of all, very good head and ear, and a good profile and depth of body. Comes up over the hip real nice, blends well through the midsection into the hip. His biggest problem is he lacks a little bit of fullness in the lower hip. He could be fuller there. His coat's kind of dead and open, it's a little bit longer and coarser than the, some of the younger animals we have. None of these rabbits have any smut. They're all very clean in color. This one's a, got a pretty good shade to this color. He shows a little bit of unevenness or shading on the hip there. And then he doesn't have a lot of uniformity right over the back where he's starting to break in coat. But the shade is very good. A couple of them are a little bit too dark or brassy. And he's more correct in the shading. He is first. I am 1D1. Okay, yeah. She's a little square in body. She doesn't show enough taper. She's gotten a little bit beefy in her, in her shoulder probably. That's made her wider there. So now she's a little straight in her sidelines. She doesn't gradually get wider into the hip. And then with the, she, in addition, she doesn't have a lot of rise. She tends to peek more towards the middle of the back and flatten out of the hip. So that, those things together make her look very square or boxy in her body. She's a little softer in flesh throughout, not just at the shoulder. She has a very dense coat, decent texture, but she's a little uneven in coat now. Very clean color again, but she's a little uneven, little, got some streaks or splotches over the back of her coat's cha changing. But her biggest problem is her body, she's just a little bit square. I'd already looked at these two. Second place is going to be GA21. She fails in body the first place dough as well. She's a little bit longer. She has more depth than that senior dough. She doesn't carry the high point back as far. And she's in a really bad molt, obviously, that's easy to see. The molt really spoils uniformity of color. The color is clean, you can tell, but just very uneven over the back where she lacks so much finish. So then the winner, first place, is 30Y1B. Pretty nice dough. Really good width of body through the shoulder, blends well into the midsection, very wide hip. She could be a little bit deeper further back over the top of the hip, but overall good type. And she has, she's one of the better colored animals in the past. I think she's got a little, or in the breed, she's got a little softer shade. Very clean, no smutter ticking anywhere. She does have some shading on the sides, but that's minor. It's very nice stuff. Junior does. Nice young does are all pretty much at the same stage of development in terms of their coat. So GA24 is going to be third. She's got a really good shoulder and midsection. She comes up very deep to the midsection, but she does peak a hair too soon, turns off the hip. She's got a really bad hollow spot where the loin meets the hip right now, and she lacks some fullness in the lower hip. 
Coast variant, even as it is on all three of these doughs, she's a little bit grassy in color. There's a noticeable dif difference between her and first place. And the color is splashy where the coast's still uneven. But her biggest problem is her body right now. It's not bad with all the depth, but there's some hollow spots to her. Two really nice body doughs ahead of her. This one is GA. Uh, 25. Okay. Yeah, she has the best body, the most depth and the most loin. Carries a high point back the furthest. She could be rounder from side to side on the hip, but still overall the best body. She's going to lose on color. She's quite a bit darker than the first place though. First place has really good shade to her color. This is coming in a little dark and brassy down the back. She's a little uneven on the sides, where the coat's uneven. Very deep round loin and hip. But our winner, 23, GA23. Okay, she's got a little better shoulder in this section than that last doe. And not a bad hind quarter, but doesn't have quite the depth. She's rounded from side to side, but just not as deep or as round up over the top and front to back over the hip. She's got a really nicely textured coat coming. And she's got the best coat, at least grassiness, so it's the lightest and the most correct in the shade. It's just uneven where she's got the uneven patches of hair. A lot of potential with her. All, on all these in that there was no smut or ticking anywhere. Some of them were varying shades, some of them were a little too dark, but that's minor. Definitely they're all clean and that's an accomplishment. So we have really uh, two animals when it comes down to the two intermediates. is very close, both very nice. Buck being the better typed animal, really deep and round, but he's a little bit darker in color. Six eight does, got the best color of all the rabbits, I think. Nice shade to her, pretty even. She's got a very good body, not quite the depth, but she blends really well from front to back. I think I like her the best overall. So six eight does best. 6-8 buck best off. Very nice paddles. That's officially what ear numbers. Say what? That's officially what ear numbers. Say what ear numbers. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, GA10, best of opposite. And 30Y1B is best of breed. Congratulations. Thank you. You too.